Hello again, fellow doll lovers. I have a bit of an unexpected thrift haul today. Um, I wasn't really going to go to the thrift store, but then I did. And I wasn't expecting them to have anything, and then they did. So, let's jump on in. This girl, she's really cute. She's all ready for Christmas. A little early. Still not Halloween yet, but she's super cute. She's in really nice shape. Hair's a little sticky. Not too bad though. She has her earrings, but no ring. I think she was probably supposed to have something in this pocket too, but maybe not. She has shoes. Not sure if these are her shoes. Bend and snap knees. Work pretty good. Yeah. Let's see, what does it say on her neck? get it to focus huh looks like it says 1979 to me or 76 it's really tiny super tiny it's really really hard to tell I think it says 76 and what does it say on her back Ooh. Velcro is really, really strong. <laughs> Goodness. 1966 body mold. And she has the little faux white underwear. I really don't see anything much wrong with her. She looks pretty good for a thrift store doll. I really liked her, like, sweet face. I like the vintage dolls. She has a bit of a mark on her forehead. One on her arm. But for a thrift store doll, she looks really good, actually. And most of these were just 99 cents. Let's see. <clears throat> I love these. This is my first Disney store. Is this Elsa? I know that's horrible. I get them mixed up all the time because I've only seen Frozen one time. It just says Disney China on her back and on her neck, both. Her hair doesn't feel too bad except for this up here. It's really, really crispy. I really liked the movie. I just don't have it. So I've only seen it the one time. <laughs> I thought it was really cute. I liked Olaf. But these are stunning to me. I love the Disney dolls. And when I can pick them up, focus there. It doesn't want to focus. When I can pick them up for a dollar, I will. If they're much more, I don't, I don't like to spend more than like four dollars a doll for a thrift store doll. That's just me because I know that a lot of thrift stores around here, you can get them for about 69 cents or a dollar if you just keep looking. And there's a lot of these, but I just, I love the faces on the Disney dolls. And of course, all the articulation, the foot articulation is not my favorite. But it's just because it's a little awkward and sometimes it's hard to find shoes, but, and they don't sit very well. I don't know how many people know that, but they sit awkward. See, they have that like bow legged sit. They don't sit very well because this here clashes. So, but I really, really like her and she's not very dirty. She's got a few little marks. So. She'll be pretty once I fix her up. She's pretty now, but she'll be even prettier once I fix her up. I love the way the eyes look on these dolls. They're so realistic. <clears throat> Let's see. Ooh, this girl. I loved her face. So pretty. Such a pretty face. I love the blue eye makeup. I love the blue earrings and the soft pearly pink lips. Her hair is really, really soft and really, really nice for a thrift store doll. And it's two-toned. Like, I haven't seen one like this. So, I grabbed her. I thought she was really, really pretty. And she's a little, you know, she could use a boil wash and all that good stuff. Looks like 1990 on her head. 1966 Indonesia on her body. Bend and snap knees. Ooh, her knees snap really well. Oh, her limbs are all right. No chewed hands or anything. Yeah, really, really pretty. Love this Barbie. Like I said, I don't really just buy everything. 
I will buy what uh, speaks to me and what Barbies I think are pretty. That's what I like to collect because everybody's different. But this, this is just gorgeous. This face, I love the old faces. <clears throat> this is my first live doll. She's really, really pretty. I've seen them before in hauls. She's got, I don't know, she had some kind of sticker on her apparently when they gave her to the thrift store. I like the live doll articulation. It's really nice. They sit better than the Disney dolls do. And she had shoes. I was like, how is that possible? I've never seen a live doll with shoes, but I'm assuming these are her shoes. Made in China, it says. Let's see what it says on her back. 2009 Spin Master. China and same thing on her head 2009 she has a wig and everything I thought that was really cool because a lot of the times you find them with no wig and she has these little heart earrings and this little funny bikini I just thought she was adorable the wig is really nice it just needs fixing you know washing and brushing and whatnot but it's it's just it's not matted or anything it's just frizzy it's really soft and shiny still so it should turn out well. But I just thought her green eyes were really pretty and her soft pinky pearly lips. Same thing with her eye makeup. So I grabbed her. She was 99 cents, like the rest of them. <clears throat> and this, I believe she's the worst of them all and she was the cheapiest. She got the little clicky legs, see? And her hair is really bad, but she was only 69 cents. Sometimes they, they mark them 69, and sometimes they mark them other things. I don't know why. It says 2011 MGI on her head and 2014 on her back. You can see her head, but it's kind of too shiny for her back. I just thought she was cute, and I thought for 69 cents, I didn't want to leave her there. So, we'll fix her up and keep her. I think that's it for the dolls, yeah. The only other things I got are small. They have these bags that you can stuff full of whatever you want for, I think it's a $1.99 or $2.99. I took some stuff out of it that's not doll related. I got this cute little couch. I don't buy a lot of furniture, but I thought this was cute. And it's one of those, like I said, bags you can fill a little stained up but there's nothing that I can't you know with a little scrub and I believe it's Barbie yeah Mattel 2013 China I just thought it was really cute I thought you know I could fit some of my dolls on it for display or whatever and I thought that would be cute so I grabbed that and the rest of this stuff you might not be interested in but I'll just show it really quick I got her, cause she was like this, this poor little thing. Strawberry shortcake. Looks like 2002 on her back. I just thought I could give her a reroute cause I felt bad for her. Cause she was stuck there in the bin like this with no hair or anything. So I just thought, you know, I felt bad. And like I said, everything in that bin was up for grabs. You could just throw whatever you wanted to in there for $2, I believe. Like I said, it's $1.99. This was in there. I just thought it was really cute. Just a little Frankie Stein figurine. And I thought it would be cute for display. So I grabbed that. This little pony. I think she's cute. I don't know all the ponies. So it's not something that I collect, collect, but when I, they have these bags available where you can just stuff them full. When I see something I think is cute, I'll just grab it. And then that way I'll either keep it for display or use it for something crafty. I use these little figurines and put them onto, um, oh, frames. I know that sounds weird, but I'll have to show you sometime. I couldn't resist, especially with the new Toy Story. I forgot the name of him, but he's Woody's horse from, I think, like the second or third movie. I think it's the second movie where they're all in box. It's super cute. So I grabbed him and this little Ninja Turtle. I'm not sure which one it is, but like I said, when I think things are cute, I grab them, especially when they have these bags where you can just stuff them full for cheap. And then this, I got this because I like diner things. 
and I like retro and I like this color a lot. So I just thought it was cute. It has the little food on the window and I put that in my kitchen. It's from Cars. And the last thing I got was this Barbie Jeep. I don't know how well you can see it. It's in pretty decent shape. It's got most of the stickers still. It's not too beat up. And I just thought it would be adorable. It was $1.99. And it says Mattel 1984 on it. Everything works. So I just thought it was cute. No seat belts though, little seat belts are missing and it could use a good, you know, wash or whatever. But I just thought I could stick my dolls in it for display. Again, thought it would be cute. <laughs> Knocked everything over. <laughs> see, they fit. Super, super cute. So let's see, today I got the Jeep, these little funny figures, these little funny figures, cute little car, sofa, strawberry shortcake that's hairless. Oh, this too, this fell out. I got this little Hello Kitty McDonald's thing. I just thought it was cute. And I got one, two, three, Four, and the girl in the Barbie car is five. So that was my thrift haul, my unexpected sort of mini thrift haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you thought it was fun. Hope you enjoyed seeing all my little funny things, knickknacks, whatevers, cute stuff that we like to put with our dolls. Um, I hope you have a great day. Be kind. We're only human. I wanted to do a little mini shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so, so much. I think I've gained a few more just from the last time. I think six now, six more. I'm over the moon. Totally love it. Love if you subscribe. We're going to do more of this. We're going to do more makeovers. We're going to do more good stuff. So there's good stuff here. There's good stuff in my videos already. And I'm looking forward to sharing more with you. Take care. Have a great day. And I'll see you soon.